hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to talk about how you can plot inside the graphical user interface made by qt and uh, the best uh, plotting library i have ever known so far is the matplotlib library from python and today i will show you how you can install and link the matplotlib library python with your c project inside qt so for this open your qt creator app and uh, create a new project uh, with the name of plots or anything and click next and i am going to use the qmake build system click on next 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 and finish and uh, as you see there are a lot of files are generated automatically in order to know about these files in details you can watch uh, my um, older tutorials on qt and uh, to uh, to install the matplotlib library you have to go into headers and add new and you have to add a new header file here and name it matplotlib cpp click on next and finish so delete everything from inside this file and now next we uh, will fill this file and in order to fill this file open your chrome browser and type matplotlib in c++ and go here and open that repository and go here in matplotlib cpp.h and go into raw and copy everything from this file and go back and paste it here inside your matplotlib cpp.h and save it so the next thing you need to include this file in your main program for this you can type hash include and uh, matplotlib cpp.h now if i run my program it will give errors for python.h so next we need to link our python library with this program with our app so for this you need to go your uh, make file which is plot.pro and you add you need to add few things here first of all we need to add config and plus equal to no keywords we are using this no keywords because uh, uh, Python has its own signal slot uh, 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 library and uh, Qt has its own uh, library for the signal length slot. In order to avoid the conflict, we have to write this no keywords in the config variable. And the next thing we need to link our library for this, you need to type libs plus equal to and minus L and give the path of your library. My library is in user, user, mm, user. Uh, local lib and python 3.8 i'm using python 3.8 you can replace here uh, whatever version you are using and the next thing you need to link your python library type minus l and python 3.8 and the next thing we need to give the include path for our python libraries and for this you can write include path plus equals to and uh, give your include path and my python and the include path for my python library is user includes and python 3.8 now save this file and run it again now you can see uh, all the errors are removed and your program is running so this is how you can install and link the matplotlib library with your uh, qt project and the next thing we will see uh, how we can create plots using this library for this i am creating i am giving the namespace plt to matplotlib cpp and the next thing we are going to use the plot function from the matplotlib library and inside this plot function i am going to plot a vector of one two and three and four and the next thing we can type plot the show to show the plot and now if i run my program so you will see the plot here which is created by the matplotlib so this is how you can use the matplotlib library inside your qt project and uh, uh, this is for today's tutorial and in the next tutorial uh, we will see uh, the q custom plot library it's the built-in library from in the qt so next we will see how we can use this library and plot over results so if you like this video please uh, like and subscribe my channel to get the updates of the new uploads 
and see you in the next tutorial bye bye